time to time it may be useful for you to shut down a machine without actually having to be in front of it, such as a server that maybe you don't have access to or if you're administrating a network uh, remotely and you have access to one machine but not another. Um, there is a command line utility that you can use called Shutdown. Uh, that command line utility also has a graphical interface and it's shutdown forward slash, or I'm sorry, shutdown space forward slash I is the command that you use um, either in this window or in a run window or a command prompt and that'll bring up the remote shutdown dialog box or the graphical user interface to shut down. Um, if we were on a Active Directory or a domain and we had Active Directory set up we'd be able to actually browse for uh, the different machines and the different servers on the network and be able to shut them down that way. Um, because we're not, uh, we can't browse to it. But you could simply add it by, you know, the PC name, um, adding it into here, and then anything in this list would then have the actions that you'd set below applied to them. So you can restart, you can shut down. Um, I don't think anybody will ever use the annotate unexpected shutdown. That's for uh, actually replying to the response that says, you know, this computer was shut down abnormally or the previous shutdown was unexpected. And I don't think um, there's a great need for that. But a lot of times I've had a need to actually restart a machine that I couldn't actually sit down in front of and use the keyboard or maybe I couldn't get to through something like remote desktop. Now, um, if there's somebody on the PC, you may want to set these. Typically what I'll do is uh, we'll leave that on there to warn the action or warn the user of the shutdown action or the restart action, and I'll change that to something like three. Um, if there is a user on there, obviously you want to try and get their attention and try and make it so that uh, they're not abruptly shut down. But Typically this is used for a scenario where you have to shut down a machine and you can't reach somebody locally to actually get that machine shut down or restarted. Um, and it's the same typical thing that you'd find on a server unless you type something in this box um, or you pick a reason other than other you won't be able to apply the action. And so if we pick something here and we're going to say that it's uh, planned maintenance or whatever it is, hardware maintenance, although we're not in front of it. Um, most people don't track these anyway, but you'll pick a reason and then you'll click OK and it'll go ahead and apply the restart action or the shutdown action to the PCs listed up here.